Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and I'm here today to show you the Regency RV Ultra Brome 25 MB. I was so impressed with this coach. For the first time ever, I went to Regency RV and did a factory tour and did a video for you all to watch so that you can see the craftsmanship and quality they put into this coach. So I encourage you to go and watch that after you've watched this walkthrough. The Ultra Brome sits on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. I just want to show you what's under the hood here. So over here we've got our brake fluid. This is our positive charge if we ever need to jump the coach. Our positive is right here. You just push that back to expose that lead. And then the negative is over here on the sidewall. We have our windshield wiper fluid here, our oil engine fill here, and our dipstick is right below it, DEF and coolant, and our engine air filter. We have the mirrors, the side mirrors. They've got a camera in them so that that's what you see when you turn on your blinker to go down the right or left side of the coach. You've also got a, your turn signal here in the mirror as well, and these are internally controlled. We have the aluminum wheels. And then I want to talk a bit, little bit about one of the things that Regency does that is really unique. So all these moldings, your step here, anything that can be removed from the Ron chassis when it comes into the factory, they take off and paint separately. So they paint the front, a back, around the edges, so that when they put these on, they're not just masking around that, it's all painted and you're not gonna have the peeling that you may have if they did it otherwise. So that's really impressive and you can see that in my factory video. So as you look on the top corner of the RV, you'll see the marker lights. Then just behind that on the roof, you're going to see the over-the-air antenna and behind that, the AC unit. So as you go to enter your coach, you're gonna have a couple ways to get in. Obviously your key, but then you have a, a, touch, a touch keypad. So that you can set your own unique uh, code to get into the coach. You can let service technicians in that way, the grandkids, your friends. Anyway, you don't always have to carry your keys with you, which is a nice, nice to have. Then those, note the windows here. All of the windows are installed after the painting's been done. So they don't just mask around the windows. Paint goes all the way to the edge of the window. So you're not gonna have any overspray on your windows. You also have an automatic step that opens up when you open the door. So that gives you a nice step into your coach. And then you can switch, uh, use a switch that will keep that step extended while you're at the campground so that it's not gonna go in and out every time you open and shut the door once you're camping. Right inside the passenger's door here, we have the controls for the carefree awning. Now, what's nice about that is I can watch my awning while I'm extending it. So I make sure that I don't run it into any trees or anything like that. So I just lift up this little cover here, turn it on and hit extend. We also have LED lights that are on the outside of the coach and along the whole awning. So it gives you a really nice ambiance at night. Here in our storage bays, we have really nice handles. They're very, they feel very hardy. And again, all these doors are taken off, painted separately. You can see they're painted on both sides. Nice deep storage uh, bays that are carpet lined. We've got our wine guard connect in here, our input, if we wanna watch cable out here. And these are lit as well. So you don't have to hold up your door. They've got these little holders that you just push right there. And then you can get in and out of your storage area without having to hold the door up. And then they just close, you twist them, and it just flips up nice and secure so it's not gonna rattle around. Then we've got our 110 outlet here. These are our vents for our microwave and our Dometic refrigerator. For our furnace, this is our generator, our 32 
500 watt generator. And again, that's a diesel generator, which is an option on the Ultra Broom. And another storage compartment here. And you also have a quick connect for your LP tank. So if you want to bring a grill and barbecue outside, you would connect that right there. Now this is probably one of my favorite storage bays <laughs> because it's so big. And inside, we've got a big container here. So this could be your laundry hamper. So you can just get your dirty clothes from here, head to the laundromat, or take them in your house once you get home. You can also use this for golf clubs, fishing poles. Um, it's a nice tall space. And we have these screens for the front of the cab so that our privacy screens are in here as well. We all ha also have an adapter to go from 30 amp to 110. I want you to take note of the beautiful rear cap of this coach. A lot of Class B coaches you'll see, they just have a flat rear. This has structure to it, which adds rigidity. And if you watch my factory video, you'll see that there's what they call a Christmas tree in here that goes along here and then up the coach and then branches out to the side. That just fills this space. So it's not, you're not gonna have any oil canning as you go down the road. You also have your big steel bumper right behind this. The end cap is also designed and molded specifically to fit the Mercedes tail lights not the cheap LED lights. The hitch here, you can tow 3,400 pounds, and you've got the plug-in here for your tow vehicle lights. And also note that this has a rear camera along with the two side cameras. So three external cameras on this coach. Here is our wet bay. So we have our Thetford SantaCon system, our macerator here, and the uh, on and off switch for that is right here. Then here are the T-valves for our gray and black tank. This is our LP fill and our LP bleeder and our LP on and off switch. This is our fresh water connection and our city water connection. So here are, is our outdoor shower with a hot and cold valve and a little shower head. So if we need to wash off our feet or our furry friends or our knees, <laughs> you can do that right here. This is the city fill. And then this is a winterizing system. So if we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers, this is where you would winterize your coach. And here's your cable input. If you have a portable satellite system, you could connect that right here. Here is our Truma AquaGo on-demand hot water. And then we've got our connection for our 30 amp shore power cord there. And then here's our slide, which gives us that extra space in our B+. You're probably wondering why you fill up this coach with diesel fuel. Well, it's right here. So you open the door, driver's side door, and then you can open that right there for your diesel fuel. Now, the nice thing about that is once this is closed and you lock your door, no one can have access to your fuel fill. I'm really excited to show you the inside of the Regency, but before we get in, there's a couple things I want to point out. First of all, I mean, remember this is a Class B, folks. Look how they've reinforced their screen door. You don't see this in even some of the diesels. So I really like that little peekaboo area here. <laughs> but I think that's a great feature. Again, just goes to the quality that they put in this coach. Then before I even step into the coach, right behind this panel here in the step well i've got my two six volt agm batteries now that panel comes off i can actually take the floor out really easily and bring out those batteries super easy if i need to know they're agm so hopefully we don't have to mess with them but they've made it really easy to get to those batteries if i need to another cool feature that they have here is this step well cover now a lot of people are asking is this glass again the quality, the way they paint at Regency. This is steel, but it looks like glass. But before I even come in my coach, I can put that down, throw my dirty shoes or dog leash, whatever, right in this little cubby here, and I don't have to bring that dirt into the coach. So I really like that. And then once I'm in the coach, I can put this down and not worry about falling into the step well. Now here at the bottom, we have our battery disconnect. Then we have our step on and off. So this is for your step here. Once you're in the campground, you don't want that step coming out and going back in every time you open and shut the door. You just wanna leave it extended. So that's your button for that. We've got our fire extinguisher here. Hopefully we'll never need that 
maybe just at the campfire. Um, then we have our TV lift. So that's for this TV here. Button just to bring that up and down and I'll show you a few more cool features about the TV once I'm inside. Then we have our exterior lights. So those are gonna be the lights on your awning. And then you have just a security light out here. Your cargo lights, again, class B with cargo lights on a switch. I love it. <laughs> um, just great attention to detail. And we have the cabinet light. So if I walk in and I just wanna like light, um, it's softer in the coach. It will just light the, cab the lights underneath the cabinets or I can go ahead and hit the coach lights. And then what's really cool is I can turn those, I can dim those coach lights. So if you wanna set the mood, go to theater mode, whatever, or just wanna soften up the lighting in your coach, which I love. I love to have it light and bright, but at night it's kinda of nice to dim those lights and just have a softer fill. So great options right here before we even get into the best part of the coach. All right, finally, we're here to my favorite part, the interior. So there's several things I'm gonna point out as we go around, just attention to detail that Regency has. But one of the big things is their woodwork. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's all hand stained and hand sanded, um, beautifully done. This is actually the cinnamon finish on the woodwork. And there's also the dark chestnut and oatmeal are your other options. And it's all uh, beech wood and three quarter inch even in the veneer so they just do a beautiful job on this underneath on top the sides all hardwood now behind this cabinet here we have our c level 2 tank monitor system so that's going to give us the level of our batteries our fresh gray black and our lp tanks here we have our equalizer system which is our leveling jacks that's an option another option that you can get with Regency is the hydraulic leveling jacks. So Regency is a master upfitter for Mercedes. They got permission to add the optional hydraulic leveling jacks, which is a great, you just don't see that in the class B. This is where we can start our generator. It's a Cummins um, Onan generator. And this is the diesel, 3200 watt diesel generator. Now you have an option for either diesel or LP at National Indoor RV Centers, we always choose the diesel. It's a little bit more, but it does give you more run time. Then we have our slide out room. So you can just put that in and out. Again, class B with the slide out room. This is really nice. Gives you that extra space that we're enjoying right now. And then this is our solar panel monitor. So it's letting us know what our batteries are at. Now the coach comes standard solar prepped. You can add either two 100 watt panels or four 100 watt panels and those are basically gonna trickle charge your batteries. So here we have storage, nice deep storage, and it's lined with Ozite, just like you see in the automotive in industry. Then we have our Furion radio, which is our surround sound as well, DVD player, HDMI input, USB, and aux. And then we have another storage cabinet with our safe. So that's great that you have that option as well. And then something I have, haven't told you yet, but all the cabinets and drawers are soft close. So if you see, if I just kind of let that go, it's gonna softly close. When I'm ready for travel, then I'm gonna go ahead and just tightly you know, secure it so that it doesn't come open during travel. But that's just not something you see in a class B, soft close cabinets and drawers. So gotta love that. And then we've got our smoke detector here. So how many Class Bs can you comfortably entertain four people? You can in the 25 MB. So I've turned the two captain's chairs around. You can see nice, comfortable chairs for my guests, and then the really nice, comfortable chairs for me. Now this is all leather. This is the Moroccan color. You can also choose tan or gray. And let me show you a few features about these chairs, because there's lots. First of all, there's a little lever right to the side, to my left here that I can pull so I can swivel the chair. And then I've got my USB charger right here. Also, the armrests are a little bit low, but all I have to do is just pull those up, armrests over to the side here. I can extend the footrest and I can recline. So basically now the goal is to just stay awake because I'm really comfortable, but so say I'm ready to have dinner. I'm gonna to have to swivel my chair 
and I am at my table ready to eat. So they give you a nice big table and then I love the way that this works as well. So a lot of people are trying to use this. There's a strap here. All you have to do, this little leg doesn't go to the ground. It just fits right into this little slot right here and you've got your table. If you don't want the table, it's as easy as this. To put away. We have another great cabinet right when you walk in, the coach. So here we've got a nice hook in the back so we can hang our jackets, put our umbrella, and then another nice cubby up top. And then below we have access to our little mud room, that's what I'm gonna call it, <laughs> where I put my shoes when I first came in. So you can get it here from, if you've got your step well cover down, you can access this door, this little area from here or up front. Here at the living room, we have a 42 inch Samsung TV. Now this is typically the size of TV that you would see in a class A diesel. Again, this is in a class B. So you've got this nice big screen um, now, say you're sitting in your seat, you want to enjoy the outdoors and have TV. Well, we want it all, right? Regency lets us have it all. So we can just hit the TV lift down. So now I can still watch TV and enjoy the beautiful outdoors with my windows. All right, I want you to make sure you pay close attention to the beautiful cabinetry throughout this coach. So they use three quarter inch beech wood. And if you want to see how it's hand sanded, stained and finished at the factory, I encourage you to watch that factory video that I made that will show you in detail how they make this beautiful cabinetry. We have lots of nice storage above our TV cabinet. Nice and deep. Again, it's aligned with the carpet which we like. And then they are all soft clothes. And like I said before, before you get ready to travel, just go by, snap them shut. Pretty fancy. <laughs> then we have the beautiful Corian countertop. Note that we have the accent lighting in um, the Corian, and you can turn that on and off. So if you want at night, you could just have the accent lighting on, sort of like a courtesy light or night light. We have nice deep drawers. Again, something that uh, Regency does that a lot of other manufacturers don't do at this level. The drawers are fully stained and they've got the notched drawers at the bottom so they're nice and strong. You're not going to pop out that bottom drawer. And then this is our breaker panel and fuses. So we've got our breakers here. They're nicely labeled and our fuses which are labeled as well. Here's our converter. So this is a little bit different than what you'll see in one of our big class A's if you've watched some of my videos there. This coach does have an inverter which is gonna convert DC to AC. And then you have a converter that's gonna be charging your house batteries. This coach also has a 30 amp service. So you literally have 30 amps of power coming into the coach which will easily power your AC unit which is 15,000 BTUs AC with a heat pump. Here's our Dometic control for our AC, heat pump, and furnace. Also, I want to point out that you've got a 110 outlet underneath this cabinet here. You have one also underneath the cabinet in your kitchen, and then you have one right behind the captain's seat in the living room. I wanted to point out that the Regency has MCD day shades and night shades. So MCD are the best, they're manual. I'll tell you that I actually love the manual shades. I can't tell you how many times I'm in a coach where I'm searching for a remote, trying to you know find a remote that will take them up and down. I like to be able to just walk over, pull those up and down. I don't have to worry about them breaking. And they're just really nice. And the way they just finish it, everything off, it's just beautiful. So as we move into the kitchen, I wanted to show you the storage that we have above. The kitchen counter here. We also have the slide motor control here. When I shut these you'll see that they're soft close. Again when it's time to travel just go around push them in to make sure they're nice and tight and secure. And then we have the fantastic fan with variable speeds and an optional rain sensor. Then notice the nice MCD day shade and night shade. 
that are just manual, very easy to use. And then we have the beautiful Corian countertops. Also, this has an accent light in right built into the countertop and you can dim that or make it brighter. So at night, you may just wanna have that accent light on dim. It can be like a courtesy light or almost a night light for your coach. We have a nice sink cover for our big stainless steel sink, residential faucets. And then we have the optional induction cooktop. So we have induction here. Then one of my favorite things, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I love to have a spot for my garbage because I hate to have a garbage can out when you first walk into my coach. So pull that here. We have a nice space for our garbage. Again, another soft closed door. <laughs> and then all the drawers here are soft closed as well. And if you'll notice, they totally finished the drawers. So you're not gonna see any unfinished wood in this coach. They notched the drawers. Again, watch my factory tour and you can see the quality that they put into making the drawers. They are nice and sturdy. And then we have our Truma Aqua Go, which is our on-demand hot water for the coach. So I would just turn that on. Here's the controller right here. And then we have our CO2 detector. As we go into the bathroom, we have a pocket door. And what impresses me about this pocket door is that it's nice and tight. This is not gonna rattle as you go down the, the road. So there's a little snap to release it over here. And then you can see it doesn't, I mean, it's not rattly. It's gonna lock right in place, but that's impressive. Their quality, again, it just shows in everything they do. Um, and it's gonna lead to this nice, not only is this insulated well, it's gonna be a nice quiet ride. Then we have great cabinet wardrobe space as we go into the bathroom. Again, it's all lined with the carpet, nice rod there to hang your clothes from. And then we've got deep drawers. Again, soft clothes. Then one of my favorite features, I love this too. So if you know me, you know that I love to have garbage tucked away where you can't see it. Also have a lo love to have a place to put my dirty clothes where you can't see them. So we have a hamper right in this little cabinet here. Now you can use this as a hamper. You can also, you can access this from the outside of your coach as well. So you could also use it for golf clubs. Um, my son loves to fish and those fishing poles don't fit just anywhere. So nice place for fishing, you know, poles, something that's tall. Anyway, you can use it for more than just your hamper, but I love that I have a hamper. <laughs> and then we have another cabinet here and it's lit too. So I can see all the way back into my cabinet. Very nice. And then we've got the controls here for our light bathroom fan, our 110 outlet. And then we have the medicine cabinet. So look at all that extra space. I just love that they're giving us a lot of space in this class B. Again, Corian countertops, residential faucets, stainless steel sink in the bathroom, and more storage below. We have a 36 inch corner shower, and we've got the nice little uh, lock there for when you're traveling. And again, we've got the magnet here, so that's gonna seal off the shower nicely. When you're taking a shower, you're not gonna have water all over your bathroom floor. And then it's really quite roomy, so I'm gonna get in. Of course, I've got my heels on, just so you can see how much room I have. I'm not touching a wall, and I've got the skylight here as well. Another nice cabinet. And then we've got the towel rack, which is nice. I always like to have a place to hang my towel. And then we have our Dometic toilet with the foot control and the extra little shower nozzle too. All right, so I'm so excited to show you this part of the coach. It's one of the things I love about this. I mean, I know I've told you that I love the bathroom and I love that it has a slide, but ever since I was a little girl, I thought it's, a Murphy bed was like the coolest thing ever. So finally, I get to demonstrate one. <laughs> Childhood dreams coming true here. So you just simply take off the back cushion and I just throw that up front. So it's out of the way. And then you fold this down, fold that one down, release the corners here, and then your bed just comes right down. And it's got a little bend in the mattress here. 
So you just fold that down and there you go. How cool is that? So I've put a queen sheet on this bed. It's a little bit bigger than a queen, not as big as a king. So it's a little tight, but it does work. Also, you've got your day and night shades right behind you here on your headboard. So you can make your coach nice and dark for sleeping. So right here to the side of the bed, you've got a control panel for your LED lights over the bed. And you can also dim those or brighten them as you like. Again, nice window with the MCD shades again. Anyway, great comfy bedroom. So another cool feature on the Ultra here is the blackout shade. So if I wanna use my skylight now, I want some light to come in, easy as that. Even better, what if I want some fresh air? Well, I can actually open up this skylight. So I just pull this lever here, pops open, really nice. Now I don't want bugs to get in my coach though, right? So they've given me a screen. How cool is that? <laughs> Gotta love it. Today is my lucky day because we actually have the prototype of the Ultra Brome 25 TB, TB twin bed. So this is gonna be a big seller and I'm excited to show you what it will do. So first of all, we've got our dining, our jump seats here right behind the captain seats. I can make my table, play cards, have dinner, have drinks, really nice. And then we've got our TV right across from us. And we're gonna be able to swivel our captain and co-captain's chairs around as well. Now let me show you what else this does. So I can just take out my table. So that comes out really easily. You can store this underneath the beds um, in the back. So I'm just gonna set this to the side right now for our demo. Then I'm gonna take off the backs of my chairs. Cushions. Now I'm just going to, you can see that this is going to give us some of the structure and the cushion and spring to our seat. And I actually show this in my factory video that I did at the Regency RV. So this flips down and becomes the base for our third bed in this coach. And then I'm going to put my cushion back on here. And then beneath one of the twin beds, I've got the other cushion. So I'm gonna run and get that, I'll be right back. Right. So I'm gonna bring this cushion, set it right in between there. And voila, I've got my third bed. Pretty cool. In our kitchen, we have the gas cooktop optional. So you can do the gas or the induction cooktop. We've got the big stainless steel sink with the Corian countertops. Again, with the accent in our countertops. Our three-way refrigerator, LP batteries or 110 power, convection microwave oven. Even got our pantry. And then we're moving back into the bathroom bedroom area, which is phenomenal. So here we are in the master bedroom of the 25 TB, so twin bed. So you can keep this as twin beds. This is nice. A lot of times people don't want to crawl over their partner to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, so the twin beds make this nice and easy. Or you can make this one big king bed. Now what I wanted to show you first is we've got storage underneath the bed. So this is where my cushion came from when I made the bed up front. Plus I've got nice deep storage here as well. And one of the features, Regency is constantly listening to its customers taking their feedback and making some changes. So they've rounded this corner now. So that's gonna be a nice round edge so you're not gonna step your little pee toe when you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So I just think they're, they're constantly improving their product. Now on this side, we've got storage as well. And I'm just gonna pull out these cushions to make my king or my full size bed here. And I'll show you how easy it is to do. So you easily just lift this piece of wood for your base. 
so easy. I don't have to slide anything out from underneath the cushions or anything. And then I just place my cushion. And look at that. That's bigger than a king size bed, I'm pretty sure. I haven't measured it, but it's a nice, big, huge bed if this is what I want. We can have a big old sleepover. <laughs> Here on both sides of the bed, we have a 110 outlet. Then we have our light for our bed. And then we can also dim, brighten or dim that. And then USB outlet as well. One of the things I love about this 25 TB Ultra is the fact that it has a huge bathroom. Now remember, this is a class B with no slides. So you look at this door, you think this is, oh, by the way, this is the oatmeal cabinetry and the tan interior. I think this is gonna be a wardrobe or something, but I open it up and it's a full shower. So look, I can get in here, move around, got the skylight here I've got the shower door that I can cover now also one of the things that's cool about this door when I shut it there's a magnet up at the top corner of the door so that's gonna give me my privacy for the, from the rest of the coach and I get a full-length mirror this way and this way so I'm gonna be able to make sure that I like my outfit for the day <laughs> so once I close that then I can go into my bathroom where I've got my toilet and my sink Notice the amount of space we have in here, a lot of space. We've got our toilet, then we've got our countertop, Corian countertop, stainless steel sink, residential faucets. We've got our light and fan control, 110 outlets, and our medicine cabinet. And then look, another cabinet for storage. And right below that, we've got our towel bar. I love to have a place to hold my towels. Now we're in the cockpit of the Ultra. So I wanted to point out, first of all, that one of the things that Regency does when they get the Mercedes chassis in, these seats come in cloth. So now they've changed them out to leather. They're very um, comfy and they're beautiful. This is the Moroccan leather. And then they also take apart any part of this dash and the door that will come off, they take that off and paint it so that it matches the interior and exterior of the coach. So you can see that the dash matches the leather. Over here on the door, it matches the, the big stripe on the coach and the smaller stripe matches the leather outside. So you can kind of actually tell what the inside's gonna look like when you see the exterior paint color. But that's something unusual. Most manufacturers don't do that. And if you watch my factory visit to Regency, you'll see all these parts off and they're all painted separately. So that means around the edges are painted. So it just looks, it looks fabulous. Then we've got our controls here for our windows. So up and down, we've got our controls for our external mirrors. Over here, we have our headlights and our brights and our fog lights. One of the things that Mercedes puts on their headlights is if you've got your um, brights on and a car's coming towards you and it sees those lights, it will automatically dim those so you don't have to worry about, you know, shining your brights into the oncoming traffic, which is a, a nice feature. Then we've got our steering column here. Note that they've also dipped the wood here. So we have that nice dipped um, wood grain look on our dash, on our steering wheel, and over here to the side. Just gives it that upgraded um, look that you expect from Regency with its antique car restoration history. So here on the steering column, we have our uh, light control, windshield wipers, and our turn signal. When you turn those turn signals on when you're driving, you're gonna be out see down the full length of the right and left side of your coach when you turn on the appropriate turn signal. And then we've got our cruise control right there. We also have kind of a messaging center for the coach right here. So I can just click those pages. It will give me message. It will let me know if my DEF needs to be filled, but it will also give me trip information, temperature, uh, engine level, oil um, level, service when service is due next, coolant temperature. So there's a lot of information there right at your fingertips. Then we have our horn. And right here we have the Apple CarPlay. So I can hook up my phone. I've got USB port that's in my dash and I can just hook up my phone to that. This way I can use the navigation right here from my phone and I can also make phone calls. So I've got um, volume control here. That's gonna be for my radio or it's gonna be for the volume of my phone call when I do that. And then I can call and hang up in, from here as well. So I can just say, call National Indoor RV Centers. Calling National Indoor RV Centers, home. Beep. 
and I can end the call there or I can end it right here on the steering column. I also have a drink holder right up here on top of my dash and a USB outlet. Then we've got our display here so I can go through the menu, screen adjustment so I can adjust the brightness, the contrast, contrast, the backlight, etc. And I just hit the back key, go back to menu, display on or off camera and go to my camera there. My ignition, ignition is turned on. Setup. I have different setup modes, AV, display, user interface, camera, special, and Bluetooth. My audio, so I can do my speaker X over, my equalizer, position, DTA, fader and balance, volume offset, zone control, and sound effect. My HD radio, Apple CarPlay, which I just showed you how that worked and our XM here as well. And again, I can make phone calls, go to my, I can dial right here. I can go to my contacts, my favorite, my reasons, just like it is on my phone. So that makes it super easy. Okay, so here we have our temperature control. So I can go from cold to hot, fan speed, recirculating air, AC, and then this is the different position. So this is gonna be your face and the dash face and feet, just feet, and then off. We have our defrost button, and then this is just a little clip. If I've got a post-it or I want to put a little reminder, I can just clip that in right there. Our hazards. ASR is basically our traction control. We can turn that on and off. This is the locks for the coach, so we can lock and unlock the coach from right here. This is our lane departure, so it's going to alert us if I try to change lanes without turning on my blinker. It's going to give me a sound, plus I'm going to see it in my side mirrors. And then we've got our collision mitigation system. So we have a little cubby here. We can put our cell phones or keys, whatever we want here. And then we've got another cup holders, two cup holders and a 12 volt. Then we've got another spot here where we can put cell phones or, or whatever miscellaneous items that we have, a cup holder, and then we've got our little compartment here where we've got our USB cords that come out of that we can hook up our car plate. All right, so we have our sun visors. We have storage above both sun visors, so that's nice. Then we've got our controls here, so we can turn on our reading or map lights for each individual person or turn them all on. And then this just determines what comes on when you open your door, if you want lights on or, or if you don't want the lights to come on when you open your door. So on the captain's chairs, we have our emergency brake here. We've got a lever here in the front to allow you to go forward and back. You've also got lumbar, lumbar support. And then behind the seat, you've got a little lever that you just turn when you wanna rotate the seats, the captain's chairs around so they're part of the living room rather than part of the cockpit. So here to my left hand side I've got the dial here which kind of tilts the seat forward or up and then this will move the whole seat up or down. And then we've got the dial here which will allow me to recline the seat back or bring it up more straight. All right are you ready to go for a test drive with me in the Ultra Brome? I think that you're going to like this ride and drive. So remember, this is on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Let's take her for a ride. Now this is a diesel coach, but it's going to, since it's class B, our tires are out in front of us. So it's going to drive and fill just like you're driving um, your SUV. So I've got my right turn signal on. You can see in the camera here, I can see down the full side of my coach. And it gives you grid lines too when you go in reverse and backing up. I'll show you that in a little bit, but that's a nice feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my turn here. And then you'll see that my camera will go back to my rear camera. So I just changed lanes. I didn't put my blinker on on purpose so I could test out my lane departure system. And I got an audible beep plus a visible warning in my dash. So I mentioned how quiet this coach is to drive. Um, I always like to do my decibel reader just to see what, what it's at. 
and it's at 77. Average for a car is 75. So you all need to come and take one of these for a test drive yourself and see how quiet and nice this is to drive. So I've also got collision mitigation on this coach. You can see it's giving me a warning that I'm following a little too close to the cars in front of me. So with collision mitigation, lane departure, cruise control, this, this coach is a dream to drive. Super quiet. You don't hear a lot of rattling. Um, it's just makes for a very nice trip. I feel like I'm driving, you know, an SV, SUV. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this walkthrough video of the Ultra Brome 25 MB. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it educational. I sure love this coach and I hope you do too. I'm sure you're wondering how much it would cost you to have this coach. Well, MSRP, which is the manufacturer's suggested retail price, is $134,913. If you want to find out how much I can sell you this coach for, please give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers at 469-277-1330. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe so you can see more of our videos.